I can sound only very dull after that. Thank you very much indeed for that. Um, a very good evening, everybody. My name is Russell Goldborn. I'm a professor of French literature here at King's London and dean of the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to this inaugural and very celebratory lecture on the penultimate day of our 10-day Arts and Humanities uh, Festival on the theme, The Underground. My colleague, Professor Paul Joyce, will say a few words at the end of uh, today's lecture, and the festivities will continue in chapters down on the second floor of this building, where there will be a reception later on. So today is the penultimate day of our festival. It is also, in Thailand, a public holiday. 23rd of October is Chulalongkorn Day, which commemorates the passing in 1910 of King Chulalongkorn, or Rama V, widely seen as one of the greatest kings of Siam and known to the Siamese of his time as the Royal Buddha. So what better way to mark Chulalongkorn Day than with an inaugural lecture from one of our most recently minted professors, Professor Kate Crosby, Professor of Buddhist Studies in the Department of Theology and Religious Studies here at King's London. Kate joined King's in April last year. She came to us from SOAS, where she had been reader in Buddhist Studies and director of the Center uh, of Buddhist Studies. Educated at the universities of Oxford, Hamburg, and Kalanaya in Sri Lanka, Kate brings to her role at King's experience of teaching at the universities of Oxford, Edinburgh, Lancaster, Cardiff, and at SOAS. She's also held visiting posts in uh, universities and institutes in Cambodia, Canada, and South Korea. 
Her area of specialism in her teaching and her research is Theravada practice, the oldest surviving branch of Buddhism based on the teaching of the elders. Her most recent books on this subject are Theravada Buddhism, Continuity, Diversity, Identity, published in November last year and described by one reviewer as a wonderful tour de force, and also in 2013, Traditional Theravada Meditation and its Modern Era Suppression, which offers, in one reviewer's words, a remarkable account of Theravada and what we thought was known history. The book offers, he goes on, a model of how to combine textual and ethnographic scholarship, the changing politics of knowledge, and the wider social context. Kate's particular interest then lies in Theravada meditation, the positive reinforcement of one's mind through both concentration of mind and once the mind is sufficiently concentrated by seeing through the veil of ignorance. So I invite you now to concentrate and to prepare to be enlightened as Professor Kate Crosby delivers her inaugural lecture, Nirvana and the New Technologies, the Suppression and Renewal of Meditation in Buddhist Southeast Asia. Venerable members of the Sangha, lords, ladies, gentlemen, family, friends. Thank you for joining me at King's College today to mark my uh, inauguration as the Professor of Buddhist Studies at King's. Um, I've chosen to speak today about a topic that we often associate with Buddhism, namely meditation. And I want to look at how our perception of it has changed and how it itself has changed in the hundred or so years since Buddhism has become an object of study in the West. The image you see in front of you there is uh, a blow up of a, um, a sapphire. It's a Burmese blue black sapphire. It's about the size of the end of my fingertip. Probably made in the 19th century, um, but harking back to the glory days of Burmese Buddhism in the 12th, 13th century. It may have started its life as a piece to wear in the headdress when meditating and would certainly have had a, a blue lotus beneath it, also a sapphire, originally. Now it is on a pin, a, uh, a tie pin, and it's located in the vault um, exhibition, permanent exhibition at the Natural History Museum. The, the image it depicts, if you have any familiarity with Buddhism, is immediately recognizable as the Buddha touching the earth. So his hand is lowered to the earth, touching the earth in recognition of his enlightenment, his nirvana. He is now free from the round of death and rebirth, samsara, that we are all subject to. And so he represents the ultimate achievement, rather different from the rest of us, and we look like this. This is a very common um, way of depicting our situation in Tibetan Himalayan Buddhism. You often see it in the entrance way to monasteries. And what you see in front of you is one of the gods of death, Yama, holding up a mirror to you. There you are, you can see yourselves in the mirror. And what you can see is all the different places you have been repeatedly reborn into and all the places you will be reborn into if you don't achieve the nirvana of enlightenment. So there are hells, there are human realms, there are animal realms and heavens. And keeping you trapped in there are three poisons or fires. Greed, represented by the cockerel, Hatred, represented by the serpent, and delusion, represented by the pig. 
And how, how do, do we, we find, find our, our way, way from, from this state, state where we are subject, subject to these uh, free fires, fires or vices? Buddhism, Buddhism taught a path, and one of the most central features of that path is meditation. This is a 12th century carving from Sri Lanka, and it's very famous for its peaceful um, demeanor. Although it looks peaceful, meditation can actually be very complicated. Uh, in standard um, Theravada practice, there might be a list of 40 different types of meditation. There might be um, nearly 100. In one manual I worked on, there were 3,800 different practices you needed to do on your path to Nirvana. So we have these meditation techniques then, which are quite different from the idea of just sitting, which is one of the uh, stereotypes of Buddhist meditation. And, and these, these techniques, techniques are supposed, supposed to guide us out of um, greed, hatred, delusion. delusion. They, they might lead us to withdraw from our preoccupations or to have insight into impermanence. But the, the question, question then arises is to, okay, so suppose, suppose we can get, get rid of greed, hatred, hatred and delusion as they are, they are defined, and they are very closely defined and analyzed in Buddhism. How does that lead us? to be free from samsara. I'm, I'm going to be, be looking, looking at how um, two traditions looked at this question in the, the region of Theravada Buddhism. Buddhism. This, this is the, the geographic, geographic area where you now find Theravada Buddhism. So Sri Lanka down in the southwest of your image there, um, parts of Bangladesh, Burma, Thailand, Laos, southern China, Cambodia, and southern Vietnam. I want, I want to look, to look at, at what I'm going to call traditional meditation. meditation. And, and traditional meditation, meditation um, try, try to, to look at this question of how, how is transformation, transformation possible, possible through meditation. meditation. And, it and it applied a variety of technologies, technologies to it. To it. Up, Up in front of you, you can see uh, two, two um, um, sources, sources of instruction, instruction in, in a, a temple, temple in Thailand. Thailand. To your left, uh, to, uh, to your right, right is, is um, a, manual. a manual. It's a meditation, meditation manual. manual. And, and to your, your left, left is a model, a plaster model, model from the from same temple. temple. And, and what, what it shows is how, when, when you achieved in meditation, meditation certain, certain changes, changes of um, mental, mental state, state certain, certain visual, visual and, and physical, physical experiences, certain focus, focus of, of mind, mind. When, when you've got control of those, those how you, you can, can embody them, them. So, so bring them, them into your body, body. And, it and it shows the movements, movements for doing, doing that. that. So, so this, this tradition, tradition then looked at how, how the physical human can change, change through meditation, meditation and, and incorporating the qualities of meditation into, into the body. body. Before, Before I continue, continue looking, looking at, at that, that particular, particular meditation, meditation tradition, tradition I just, I just want, want to um, let, us let us think, think about, about the relationship between objective and subjective knowledge systems. systems. So, so by an objective, objective knowledge system, system one that we can test, test one that's out there, there is verifiable by, by others, and, and subjective knowledge systems, systems about personal, personal experience, experience, including spiritual, spiritual experience, experience and transformation. What we, what we find, find is that, that they, they tend, tend to be shared. The language of them tends to be shared. Ideas of having work tend to be shared. We can, we can think, think this at the societal, societal level. level. So, so it's, it's very, very common observation, observation that um, when you when change from a political, political model of um, shared power, where, where people have to negotiate, negotiate between different, different centers of power, power. When, you when you move from, from that, that to a centralized, a centralized power, power, a tyranny, um, um, then you then also you see a transition from polytheism towards monotheism. So that's it at the grand scale, that kind of idea. That in other words, that what we experience influences our understanding, our understanding of uh, the, uh, the spiritual realm. realm. That, that kind of shared language, language and understanding of how knowledge systems work, work can be can looked be at at the um, detailed, detailed level as well, as well in terms of practice. practice. So, so 
you might you find, find that, that the idea of how a human being is formed, so reproduction, reproduction is, is used when producing, producing a new metal. metal. For instance, in alchemy, trying, trying to produce, produce pure mercury. mercury. And, then and then the same, same language and the same practices, practices again of a new, a new being, being, creating a new being, being. so the so spiritual, spiritual transformation. transformation. This, this example, example here is taken, taken from 12th century, 12th century um, Hinduism, Hinduism and, and alchemy. alchemy. So you've so got, you got on your, your um, right <laughs> a passage <laughs> that, that describes, describes the production, the production of, of mercury, mercury, the purification of mercury. mercury. The, mercury the mercury, which is seen as male, penetrates the sulfur, which is seen as female, female and, and other, other female, female elements. elements. And absorbs, and absorbs into, into itself, itself the power, power residing, residing in those female elements. The mercury, the mercury emerges, emerges from, the crucible, from the crucible, reborn from the, from the womb of the female, female elements. elements. Purification, Purification is repeated. So repeatedly you have to, have to um, put the mercury, mercury in, in the sulfur and, and withdraw it again. again. The greater, the greater the density, density of the mercury, the greater the, greater the, the, the um, purification, the enhanced penetrability. So this, so this is about, is about alchemy, alchemy and producing mercury, mercury in a traditional, in a traditional fashion. fashion. This, this same, same model is then is used in Shaiva, Shaiva tantric, tantric practices. practices. So, so one, one particular, particular practice is a sexual-based sexual based practice. practice. Um, the, the semen, semen is, released is released and withdrawn, and withdrawn back, back again, again. modeling the, the production of mercury, mercury, so the purification of mercury. mercury. And notice and the enhanced impenetrability. So, so these, these transformation, transformation practices, practices are seen as changing, changing the person, person not just spiritually, but also physically. physically. They gain physical, physical power from this, this as, well. as well. And this, and this was, was a comparison, comparison made by, by David Gordon White, Gordon White looking at alchemy, alchemy and, and Shaiva Hindu, Hindu Tantra. Tantra. And, what and what he suggests is, is that we have, have when we when have, have these uh, different, different arenas, arenas of knowledge, spiritual transformation, production of metals, they reinforce each other. The models reinforce each other. Returning, Returning to, to our traditional, traditional Theravada, Theravada meditation, meditation, when we, when we look, look at the practice, practice we see it has, it has many resonating, resonating technologies, technologies of transformation. transformation. What do I what mean by a technology of transformation? I mean a technology where you are changing somebody, somebody from one, one state, state or something from one state, state to, to another. another. In, In Buddhism, Buddhism generally, generally, there is seen to be a, a, um, a resonance between, between mental, mental states, states and the cosmology. And the cosmology. So, if so if you achieve, achieve certain meditative states, states you are thought to have a mind, mind like, like the gods, the gods of, of a particular realm. realm. Traditionally, Traditionally be able, be able to, to travel to that realm, realm visit that visit realm. realm. Other, Other aspects, aspects of cosmology, of cosmology um, influence um, meditation. meditation. So, so uh, divine, uh, divine beings are thought to live off non-gross food and the meditation, meditation may start, start with bringing, bringing in, in um, the, the pure, pure results, results, beautiful, beautiful results, results of meditation, meditation into the body as a kind, kind of nourishment. Of nourishment. Generative, Generative grammar, grammar is also used, used in, this in this traditional form of meditation. meditation. Generative, Generative grammar, grammar is where you can form a language, language from base roots, roots using certain uh, codes that build, that build the entire, the entire language. language. It started, it started as, a as a religious practice. practice. It started, it started to ensure, to ensure that communication, communication with the gods, with the gods communication, communication uh, the, the recitation, recitation of, of um, Sanskrit, Sanskrit during rituals was correct to ensure the correct outcome of the ritual. Of the ritual. But it but led, led to, to certain, certain very important, important scientific, scientific discoveries, discoveries including, for example, the number, the number zero, zero as a placeholder. Place we, we find it used in, in traditional, traditional meditation, meditation to represent, to represent qualities, qualities that are, that are brought, brought into, into the body. The body. Um, um, we, we find, find it associated with embryology, embryology the, generation the generation of a new being, being and, and with, with the understanding, understanding of the meditator's body. body. We, also we also find, find another, another resonating, resonating technology, technology is, is the conditionality of positive and negative mental, mental and ethical states. states. This is my attempt to translate Abhidhamma. To those people who study Theravada, they'll know that Abhidhamma is the defining philosophy of it. It's an analytical philosophy that deals with causality um, and the way out of samsara. And this um, tradition is basically following this type of philosophy. Another 
Another technology we find in here is the intranasal delivery of pharmaceuticals. So putting the thing that you need to heal you into the nostrils. Um, um, and that, and that is, going, is going, going to then, then so the, the medicine qualities in this case, case are, drawn are drawn into the nostril, nostril and, down and down into the body. body. The, the particular area, area that um, is, closely is closely related, related is, is Ayurvedic obstetrics, so the treatment, so the treatment of, the of the baby in the womb. In the womb. And we see and we very, see very close, close parallels, parallels between, between this meditation, meditation and, and early Ayurvedic treatment of the growing Fetus, including, including, for example, for example a, right a right hand and left hand, hand division. division. So in so Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic obstetrics, obstetrics, you use, you use the, right the right hand to treat the, the male embryo, embryo or, even or even to create the male embryo. embryo. So you can so you bring, bring um, the medicine through the right, the right nostril. nostril. And, and you use the left, the left hand, hand for the woman, woman. and, and uh, for uh, a female for embryo. And in this meditation, the right, the right side, side is used, used to drawing qualities, qualities for a male, male practitioner, practitioner and the left, and the left side, side for a female, female practitioner. practitioner. Alchemy, Alchemy I've already, I've already mentioned, mentioned in relation to, to Shaiva Hinduism. Hinduism. The same, the same model, model is used in, used in traditional, traditional Theravada meditation, Theravada meditation such, that such that these practices, practices are done, done again, again and again to repeatedly purify and strengthen, and strengthen the individual, both spiritually, spiritually and physically. Underlying, underlying much, much of this, this underlying, underlying many, many of these many technologies, of these technologies is, is mathematics, mathematics, particularly combinatorics. combinatorics. What combination, combination of, of pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical um, medicines, medicines what, what, what combination, combination of, of meditative devices, devices meditative medical experiences, medical experiences do, we do we need to treat, to treat a particular condition? condition. So they're, so they're all interested, interested in, in substitution, substitution, the substitution, the substitution of, of the imperfect with the perfect. perfect. And this is and both, both spiritual and physical. And physical. While, while um, um, in talking in talk about, about the resonating, the resonating um, um, models, models of knowledge, of knowledge in, in this tradition, tradition in Shaiva Hinduism, Hinduism um, um, we can we see, see that, that these, these things, things all inform each other, each other, reinforce, reinforce each, other. each other. What I want, what I want to look at now is how, uh, is what uh, happened what to this meditation, meditation tradition, tradition when, when the, the different, different sciences, sciences, the different, the different technologies, technologies of transformation, of transformation changed, changed under, under, the under the influence of colonialism, colonialism European, European colonialism. colonialism. To members, members of kings, of kings this, is this is a very, very familiar, familiar picture. picture. To, to people, people outside, outside of kings, I'll just explain, explain the picture. The picture. It, is it is part of our part founding, of our founding myth. myth. It is, it is a, jewel, a jewel, which you can reenact as a member of kings on the 21st of March, of March each year. Yeah. And, and it is a jewel between the Duke of Wellington and the 10th Earl of Winchelsea. What has happened is that in response, to a certain, to a certain godless, godless institution, institution that was, that being, was being founded, founded somewhere, somewhere else in London, we won't mention it. it. The, establishment the establishment in Britain, in Britain was worried. worried. It was, it was worried, worried about, about the progression, the progression of, of um, non-religious, non -religious, different, different religious, religious ideas. ideas. It was it worried, was worried about, about the, the growing um, separation, um, separation, separation of religion, religion and, and science. science. And so, and so King's, King's College, College was founded, was founded to, keep to keep science and religion, religion together. together. The, the College, College um, was, founded was founded by the Duke of Wellington, Wellington and King George IV. But, but shortly, um, but uh, during but that during process, the, the Catholic, Catholic Reform, Reform Act, Act was um, um, muted, muted and, and the Earl of Winchelsea thought, thought if they're, they're going, going to allow Catholics, Catholics into Parliament, into Parliament is, is the Duke of Wellington really serious about keeping God, God i.e. Um, um, Protestant Christianity, Christianity in, in, um, um, with, science with science in the new, in new college. college. And, and so, so he wrote, he wrote about, about this in a newspaper, newspaper. he withdrew, he withdrew his, support his support for the college, for the college. and the Duke and the of Wellington Duke challenged him to a duel. Um, um, the, the, after, after the Duke, the Duke had, had fired, fired the uh, Earl of Winchelsea fires into the air and hands over a prepared letter of apology. Uh, had, he had he known, known that they, that they would they soon be allowing, allowing Buddhists, Buddhists into the college, I'm not I'm sure he would have, would have um, um, submitted, submitted to his grace with such grace for us. But what interests me here for, for our, our purpose, purpose is, is the effect, the effect of, of the 
debates, debates that were happening, that were happening here. here. And the, and the separation, separation of, of science, science and, religion, and religion, the idea, the idea of, challenging of challenging the establishment, the establishment on, on the terror of world. world. So I now so want I now to want look to at, look at the, impact the impact of colonialism, colonialism on Southeast, Southeast Asian, Asian knowledge, knowledge systems. systems. So, so in the so terror realm, realm. Um, um, the image the you can see is actually a picture of the, the, the world, world the universe. universe. You can you see can that, see that um, human, human realm, realm is at the bottom, bottom here, here with um, um, rings and mountains, some rings and mountains, mountains around it. it. Above, Above the, column, the column, you've got various, you've got various heavens. heavens. And this, and this is, is uh, from, uh, the from the British Museum, the manuscript in the British Museum. Now, when, now, when um, Western, Western understanding, understanding of, of how the universe functioned was transferred to Asia, Asia. It, undermined it undermined such traditional, traditional cosmologies. cosmologies. It was parallel, parallel to the impact, the impact of Galileo, Galileo Christianity. Christianity. So, we so we find what was happening, was happening in, in Europe, Europe happening at much, at much higher, higher speed, speed in, in Southeast Asia. Asia. The capitulation, the capitulation in physical, in physical realms, realms, i.e. E. the military, the military success, success of, of Europe, Europe, Europe in, in the, the area. area. So we have so the we Opium have Wars, wars um, the Anglo-Burmese Wars. Undermines, undermines the confidence, the confidence in other knowledge, other knowledge systems. systems. So, if, so Europe if Europe is powerful, is powerful in this physical, this physical realm, realm, are there, are there other, other physical realms, realms so, powerful? so powerful? So undermines, so undermines. I'll come back to that later. later. It, also it also leads, leads to a loss of patronage. patronage. The traditional, the traditional patronage, patronage is the king, is the king and, and once the king, once the king is, removed, is removed, the new the rulers, rulers, the British, the French, are patronizing Buddhism. It leads to the loss of patronage, so it upsets the tradition in that way. It also it leads also to leads competition, competition in areas such as medicine. Such as medicine. medicine. So, you so you find, you find um, um, European, European um, representatives, representatives of government, of government representatives, representatives of churches, of churches bringing, bringing medicine, medicine as, a, as, a, um, as, a as a gift to show, to show that, that uh, they're, they're bringing the boon of, of colonialism, colonialism um, or, or as, as a, a, a gift of conversion, conversion to convert people. people. And I'll come back to that competition in the area of medicine. Shortly. Shortly. But you also you have also the imposition of social, social and evolutionary, and evolutionary theories. theories. So, so these are some, these of, the are some of the people who transformed, transformed thinking, thinking in the 19th, 19th century, century. Charles Darwin, Charles Darwin Spencer, Spencer, Thomas Malthus. Thomas Malthus. And, it and it led to the justification of wars, of wars in, Asia in Asia as, as the survival, survival of the fittest, fittest. and a precursor, a precursor a necessary, necessary precursor, precursor to European, European progress. progress. Progress, progress was seen was as seen unidirectional. unidirectional. And, this and this is actually, is actually still, still quite a, quite a common, common understanding, understanding of progress, of progress. That, all that all cultures are somehow, somehow moving, moving towards, towards a shared, shared future, future position, position of, progress, of progress, progress moving, moving forward. forward. And, so and so Europeans understood, Europeans that, understood that since they had, they had at this point superior point weapons, weapons, they were superior, they were superior in other areas. areas. They dismissed and actively suppressed Asian knowledge systems. I just want, I just to, see, want to see say a little say bit about attitudes, attitudes to Buddhism, Buddhism at, this at this time before, before we go we on go to that suppression of, of Asian, Asian knowledge systems. Knowledge systems. Um, um, by this by time, this time actually, many actually many centuries, centuries earlier, earlier, Buddhism, Buddhism, had, largely Buddhism had largely died, died out in India itself. In itself. Um, um, and, and so this so period this of, of colonial, colonial interest in, in Asia was also, in a sense, a period of the rediscovery of Buddhism. Um, in, um, its, in homeland, its homeland, with archaeological, with archaeological finds. finds. Europeans, Europeans were particularly were attracted, attracted to aspects, aspects of Buddhism, Buddhism that were like, were this. like this. This is, this is art, from art from the Northwest, North Gandharan art, 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 and it clearly and it looks, looks like classical, like classical European, European art. art. They, also they also like, like aspects, aspects of the Buddha, of the Buddha that were like, were like Socrates, Socrates or, or other, other classical, classical philosophers. philosophers. And so the and focus, so the focus was, on was on how original, how original Buddhism, Buddhism was, was a humanizing, humanizing philosophy, philosophy um, um, similar, similar to Buddhist philosophy. philosophy. Of course, of they, course didn't they didn't share those, those attitudes, attitudes towards, towards the preservers, the preservers of, Buddhism of Buddhism in Asia. And I've just, given, just given you here an example, example of some of, some of the statements, statements about, Buddhism about Buddhism from, from the late 19th, 19th century. century. 
the Orientalist, Orientalist Max Muller, said, said, now it has, now been, it has the been the peculiar fate of the religion of Buddha, of Buddha that among that all among the so-called so false or heathenish religions, 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 it almost it alone has been praised by all and everybody for its elevated, pure, and humanizing character. One hardly one trusts trust one's, one's eyes on seeing, seeing Catholic, Catholic and Protestant, Protestant missionaries, missionaries vie with, with each other in their praise, in their praise of, the of the Buddha. This is actually this quite is a actually complex, complex statement, and Max and Muller is Muller being, is being a, bit, a bit, uh, he's, uh, he's getting he's a dig actually at, actually at Catholics, Catholics, Catholics and, Protestants and Protestants, because, because, he, because was he was accused in speaking positively about Asian religion of being anti-Christian, so it's a dig back. All the same, All the same that, that attitude, attitude that, that um, um, Buddhism, Buddhism is, elevated, is elevated, pure, and humanizing, and humanizing is, one, is that one that continues to this day. And so and when so there when are debates, debates today, today even, we, find we find that Buddhism, that Buddhism is a so-called co so atheistic, atheistic, atheistic religion. religion. There are gods and Buddhism, we know, but as a so-called atheistic religion, is an ethical system that doesn't require an omnipotent, omniscient God. So it's still drawn on in debate. Let's now Let's look at what the Countess, Countess of Jersey, Jersey had to say, had to say. writing a popular, popular article, article here. here. Buddhism, Buddhism as he taught, as he taught, it, taught it, and she knows, she knows is, is not the religion of the 500 million, million, million who are said to reverence the shrine. Okay. Okay. And that was and really, that was a, really a, a, a very typical, very typical attitude, attitude of the time, time as, as Colonial scholars, colonial scholars took possession, took possession of the early physical remains of Buddhism and of the texts. But, but retained, retained an attitude, attitude towards their new subjects, subject, but, but they had they Buddhism, had Buddhism wrong. wrong. So it's now so Europeans, Europeans who understand, understand Buddhism, Buddhism correctly, correctly and, and um, um, Buddhists, Buddhists do not know, not their, 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 do not understand do not Buddhism, Buddhism truly. truly. We also we have also had the final, the final actually there, there that associates that um, um, Science, science with Protestant, with Protestant Christianity. Christianity. So this is so from Dalwis, he was a Sri Lankan convert, convert to Christianity. Christianity. And, he's, and speaking he's speaking to recommend, to recommend setting, up setting up sponsorship, sponsorship of schools, of schools. <coughs> Christian, Christian schools. schools. With the growth with the of intelligence. intelligence. So we're going to grow, going to grow the grow intelligence, intelligence of Asian, Asian people, people through mission through schools and so on, and, and the increase of scientific knowledge. knowledge. The Sinhalese, the, the residents of Sri Lanka, will, ere long, receive the errors of Buddhism and adopt, and adopt the, religion the religion of the Bible. Of the Bible. So you see so here, then, the, here then the association of science, science and Protestant Christianity. Okay. So you have then so you this have strong this idea, idea that progress, that progress is unidirectional and, and that Asia doesn't, doesn't have anything, have anything to, offer. to offer. This is very specifically in the 19th century. century. Early, Early on, on, during the, during the 16th, 17th, 17th century, century, if Europeans, Europeans were ill in Asia, in Asia they needed, they needed Asian, Asian medical treatment. Medical treatment. Mm -hmm. So earlier, so on, earlier we on, we have much, much more, more learning, learning from Asian systems, systems. But, but in the 19th, in the 19th century, we have much more research for some, for some pharmaceutical ingredients, ingredients, but far but less far interest, interest in the actual in the techniques, actual techniques, techniques being used in medicine. medicine. Okay, so okay, I want so to give a few examples taken from our other technologies of transformation, so not meditation, but parallel technologies of transformation, that run counter to this notion of unidirectional progress. The first, the first one, one generative grammar, grammar, grammar started, started fourth century, century before the common era, established, established by then. By then. Uh, as, uh, I've as I've mentioned, it was, it was um, originally, um, developed originally developed to ensure, to ensure correct language use and ritual, ritual, but led but to led extraordinary to um, um, understanding of, of um, codes, codes um, um, mathematical symbols, symbols like zero. Like zero. Um, and um, it meant that you could, in this system, represent the entirety of a language in a set of roots and simple Formulae, formulae, so simple, so simple formulae to develop, to develop the entire, entire language out of that set of roots. During the colonial, the colonial modernizing period, period, it was undermined, it was undermined in, that in that it was, it a, was major a major branch, branch of, learning. of learning. It was the main, was the main um, thing um, that everybody studied, everybody studied if they went to they university. Went to university. They had very they early, early universities. universities. And it was applied, and it was applied to all applied sorts of areas, including meditation. So it wasn't applied early on by European Orientalists and Classicists. But it was but studied, it was, was recognised as being a very a substantial, substantial contribution, contribution to European, European knowledge, knowledge by those linguists. And of course and it's of the, course linguists the linguists who then who bring this, bring into, this into the, the modern, modern period. period. So, so when did Europe when did catch up? up? When did the West, did catch, the West up? catch up? In the 1950s. In the 1950s. Classically Noam Chomsky, 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 who, Chomsky who uh, acknowledges, acknowledges the contribution, contribution made, made by Asian, by Asian generative, generative grammar, grammar then, then comes up with comes ideas, ideas that influence that not just linguistics, but things like computer programming. 
So there we have a direct influence which changes global knowledge. The next one, the, the intranasal, intranasal delivery, delivery of pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals developed, developed in Asia sometime between the 1st and 6th century of the Common Era. era. I'll come back I'll come to this. Back to it was this. dismissed, the emphasis, emphasis in um, 19th century uh, medicine, medicine, medicine on blood and, blood and intravenous, intravenous and oral, and oral delivery. delivery. And it's only and it's in the only 1980s, the 1980s the current that we current see this, emphasis, this emphasis, new emphasis, emphasis on delivery through, delivery through the intranasal through cavity, cavity because of its, because bypassing, of its bypassing, bypassing not just of the gut barrier, but the blood-brain barrier. So it has implications for treatment of such things as Alzheimer's. And there are several projects running now in King's College to do with intranasal delivery. Here we don't Here see we any don't direct, see any relationship. direct relationship. relationship, so this is something, so this is that, something has that has been rediscovered, as it were. The third, the third example, third I, example want I want to give you is of conditionality, conditionality of positive, of positive and, negative and negative mental and ethical states. states. I'll be done. I'll be done. <coughs> It includes, it includes combinatorics, combinatorics and it started, and it started sometime, sometime between the between this, um, second um, century before the Common Era, era on, um, um, and the second century of the Common Era, and it's been an ongoing, an ongoing development. development. It's mostly, it's been, mostly replaced. been replaced. It's a very it's difficult, very subject, difficult study. subject to study. It takes many takes years, many years. And, and, but, and, it but it continues in Burma. In Burma. Mm -hmm. Most um, um, Asian countries Asian switched, countries switched to a, to a, a European-based European based education, education system, system, even for even months. For months. But, in but in Burma, they maintain a strong emphasis on Abhidhamma. And when, and will, we when will we catch up, up on, looking, on looking, at looking, at looking at this conditionality? conditionality? That's a question mark. <laughs> I don't know I don't if know. in the future, in the future we, will we will develop something similar, similar globally, globally in, in, um, um, modern, modern knowledge, knowledge systems, systems or, whether or whether borrowing from, borrowing it, from it, is it is possible. So it's just a, so question, it's just mark. a question mark. It's something that's something different, that's, different that's, there, that's there and that doesn't, and exist, doesn't exist outside, outside of, of that tradition. That tradition. Okay, I now okay, want to now look, look very specifically at how knowledge systems is heated. I'm going to look at the look example of smallpox small prevention, prevention, which was often, which was often um, flagged um, up as one of the booms of, the booms of, of um, colonialism, colonialism that was taken that was to Asia. Asia. <laughs> so, so inoculation, inoculation was the <laughs> traditional, traditional uh, method uh, for method preventing for smallpox, smallpox in, in Asia. Asia. You introduced, you introduced the, weaker the weaker strain of, of smallpox, smallpox from scabs, from scabs of, somebody of somebody who survived the disease, disease in advance of an epidemic. So you don't do it at university. It's when you know it's coming. And, and um, it was and probably, it was probably uh, developed uh, in the middle of the first millennium of the Common Era, and it continued, and it continued into, into the early 20th, 20th, century. 20th century. In the West, in the, West, in the early 18th, in the early 18th century, 18th century, inoculation, inoculation was, introduced was introduced into Europe, into Europe and America, and from America Asia, from Asia and, from and Africa, Africa. So, into so into America, America by, by um, slaves. Um, slaves. But at the very, at the end, very end of the 18th, 18th century, century vaccination, i.e. smallpox small prevention, prevention by, by infecting with a different, with a different virus, virus. Um, was, discovered was discovered by Jenner, by Jenner in, Britain. in Britain. And, and it, ended, it up ended up competing with inoculation, with inoculation in, Asia. in Asia. So initially, so initially European, European medics and, and Indian, Indian, competed Indian, with Indian medics, Indian not, through not through how smallpox was prevented, prevented, but by the but delivery, by the delivery method. method. And then, and then, when, when vaccination is discovered, discovered, inoculation, inoculation entirely is seen as old-fashioned by Europeans. The delivery, the delivery method, method um, for the pulverized scab, scab in traditional, in traditional Asian inoculation, inoculation included, included intranasal, intranasal cavity. cavity. The delivery method, the delivery in, method Western in Western colonial medicine, colonial medicine, medicine uh, Western colonial medicine, 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 was, was uh, initially, uh, initially through scabs, scabs on, direct onto the skin, into a cut. Or eventually, or eventually using cow lymph into, into blood. blood. But that was but very that problematic, was problematic because it was very hard, very hard to get clean cow lymph that cow hadn't, gone, hadn't off gone off in the Asian, in the Asian climate. climate. The risk, the risk of, of um, death from smallpox um, um, was a, was sorry, a sorry, <laughs> with the traditional, with the traditional Asian, Asian inoculation, inoculation, there was a risk of death from smallpox. There was the need to isolate the person who'd been inoculated to avoid starting a new epidemic. Whereas, Whereas in, um, um, the advantage, the advantage of, it of it was that it, was that it provided, gave, provided no gave no other disease, disease and it lasted, and it lasted for life. life. 
The risk from vaccination, from vaccination was death from infection, death infection contamination, contamination with other diseases, with other diseases such as syphilis, the grape pox, and initially not sure how long it lasted, so possibly the need for repeated vaccination. The advantage, no risk of smallpox or a new epidemic. So Asian, um, in Southeast Asia, they preferred the inoculation method, and because of all these problems with vaccination, including the problem of, of contaminated limb, they, they distrusted vaccination. And it was only in the 1920s, so 100 years later, that vaccination was successfully spread throughout Thailand and urban centres. And at that and point, that Thailand point, banned, banned traditional, medicine. traditional medicine. So they focused, so they focused then, on then on Westerns, Western, what was, was at that time, at that time Western, Western, Western medicine. medicine. Now, Thailand, now, Thailand um, um, didn't begin didn't modernizing, modernizing in the early 20th, 20th century. It had been a process of over 100 of over years. 100 years. Uh, this is uh, King Bajorovud, who was who the person, was the person to, to um, ban traditional, ban medicine, traditional medicine, medicine for a time, time and to, and to uh, insist uh, that insist everybody that had to be vaccinated and you had to have had to have certificates in order to go, order to, go, to, school. go to school. But he built but he on a hundred years of the centralization of Thailand, of Thailand by, his, by father his father and his grandfather. And his grandfather. And they were centralizing they were Thailand, Thailand largely in largely reaction, in reaction to, to the French, the French colonial, colonial, um, um, colonials in colonials Cambodia, in Cambodia and Laos, what's now Cambodia and Laos, and, Laos, and the British and in what's now in Burma. 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 And, he was, and he was trying to, and they were trying to, defend, were trying to defend the country and keep its, its um, sovereign and free from colonial powers. powers. And so they created, and so they created a new Thai national Thai identity centralized on Bangkok. And it was on the basis of the infrastructure that that set up that they could that implement, they implement um, um, such things such as things universal, universal vaccination. vaccination. Because they because were the they only were the sovereign only state, state remaining, remaining, they were the, they source, were the source of, of Buddhism, Buddhism for Buddhist for authority, authority for other countries, for other countries also. also. So, so Sri Lankan, Sri Lankan Buddhists, Buddhists would, seek would seek out the authority, out the authority of, the of the Thai king in order to, in order to authorize, authorize their traditions. Their traditions. And that, meant and that meant that when there was, when reform, there was reform and revival, and revival in those in other those countries, countries, they often, they often took, on took on whatever reform, whatever and, reform modernization and modernization had happened in Thailand. In Thailand. So, as Thailand, so as Thailand was giving up the model of, of, Western, of, Western, of, of traditional, medicine, traditional medicine, so other countries, so other countries did as well when they had well reforms. reforms. And I want to show you the effect of this in relation to traditional Theravada meditation. So in pink, so we've got pink the extent, got of, extent traditional of traditional meditation, meditation that uses that the body-based body somatic, somatic practices based on things based like on traditional things medicine, medicine, parallels in traditional, parallels medicine. traditional medicine. And you see, and you see that in the 18th, in the 18th century, century, it's the dominant, it's the dominant tradition, tradition, tradition throughout much of throughout Southeast, Southeast Asia and Sri Lanka. Asia and we don't have data for them, I simply don't know, because the examination of manuscripts to find out hasn't been done. The extent of Western, extent medicine, of Western medicine, medicine in the 18th century, the 18th century it's, not it's not significant. But by the but end by the of the 19th, the 19th century to the 1920s, 1920s we, find we find that Western, Western medicine, medicine has spread, has spread in Sri Lanka, and Sri Lanka Thailand, and Thailand, Thailand, in urban centres in, centers in Cambodia. Cambodia. And we see a, and parallel, we see a parallel loss of, of traditional, traditional meditation. meditation. What happens what then? Happens then is that if you look at the areas, the areas where, where so you have the remaining have the strongholds in meditation by the time of the 1970s, the 1970s, those are also those then, are the also then the areas of the Marxist, of the Marxist revolution, revolution where, Buddhism where Buddhism is simply, is simply overturned, overturned um, in, um, some in some places wiped out. Wiped out. And so we and find so after, we find after the, the restitution, restitution of Buddhism of in the 1990s, 1990s, we have only we small, have pockets small pockets of this traditional of this type traditional of meditation. Type of meditation. It's, basically it's basically gone basically underground, underground, and even, and now, even now, practitioners, practitioners are, are only re-emerging. Re so even in the past <laughs> year or two, year or two people, people who practice this have come this forward and informed, and informed us of their existence. Of their existence. I'm just going to go I'm through go some through of the some of remaining, the remaining practitioners, practitioners now. now. Um, um, so we have some so remaining, have some remaining pockets, pockets in Thailand and Cambodia. Cambodia. Uh, this, uh, is this is Venerable, venerable um, um, 
And he's one of the most famous 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 in Cambodia. Cambodia. He sought out out for his his blessings blessings for the military military and rulers. rulers. So So, um, um, the the president of of Cambodia, Cambodia, but also also, um, the Shinawatra family family from Thailand, 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 seek out the services of this monk monk because as a practitioner in the traditional methods, he sought to have physical power physical and the ability power, to the bestow, bestow physical, physical, power, physical power, power as well. As well. And, for that reason, and for that reason, last month, last month when, when Cambodian, Cambodian forces joined the United Nations, United Nations um, peacekeepers um, in the Central African Republic, 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 he's required, he is required to, give to give them blessing. Them blessing. The, the, um, um, this is another, this practitioner. Is another practitioner, he's, he's um, there uh, in his, in uh, his uh, hut on stilts with his stilts manuscripts. manuscripts and he, and he um, he's, somebody, he's who somebody who managed to keep some of the, some of the manuscripts, manuscripts hidden during the Civil during War. The Civil so during the Khmer Rouge period, 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 what we think of the Khmer Rouge period, period, and afterwards during fighting between the Khmer Rouge and the Vietnamese. And he would move it, put it in an octart, hide it in his roof, keep moving it. His children complained that he was... He was, he'd loved these he manuscripts, loved manuscripts more than, more than he, loved the, he loved the his, his, his own his children. children. And the reason, and he, the was reason he was protecting them is he said he had a he premonition, a premonition that, 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 this that this war would come, come that this kind this, this Buddhism, Buddhism would be wiped, would be wiped out, out, and it would be and it would be lost, lost, and then society. And then society um, um, would be destroyed, be destroyed without, without access, access to these teachings. teachings. So he put his so life put at his risk life to preserve the manuscripts. And here's, and um, here's a nun, a who, nun she's who she's actually looking at pra- looking on, the pra- on the computer, computer <laughs> showing her practitioners in Thailand because she didn't know they existed. Cambodians think this is only a Cambodian, Cambodian tradition. tradition. Um, um, and, and she's, she's also explaining also to us explaining why she doesn't why teach. She doesn't so teach. one of the things so about this practice, practice is because it's very technical, because it has connections with power and medicine, it's taught one-to-one. And a teaching lineage. Teaching so once you've lost, so once the, you've lost teaching the teaching lineage, teaching lineage there are no there are new practitioners. practitioners. And so when and people so when in the, in the restitution of Buddhism in Cambodia have wanted spiritual, spiritual practice, practice, they've actually they've turned actually mainly, mainly to Burmese vipassana, what we commonly in the West refer to as mindfulness. mindfulness. And they've done that they've because Burmese vipassana is taught very differently. It's taught in large accessible classes. You don't need to do all the initiation. Have, have um, um, results, much, results sooner. much sooner. So, so this, practice this practice then is dying, then is dying out, out, and, and out, even where we can find practitioners, we, practitioners, we don't find, we t- don't find teaching, lineages teaching lineages into the future. Into the future. So that brings so that me brings back, back to the 19th, 19th century, century, to what was happening, what was happening in Burma. In Burma. We see through see the through devastating, the devastating wars, wars in Burma, in Burma. the Anglo-Burmese wars, the progressive annexation, progressive of, annexation Burma. of Burma, and the, and the catastrophic, catastrophic decline, decline of, Buddhism. of Buddhism. The Russian scholar the Russian Miniev was there in 1886, in 1886 and he and was he actually collecting manuscripts, and he wrote, the Burmese do the not do want not annexation. annexation. They are afraid of the annihilation of their faith and the fate of Buddhism. Now, a reason, now, a to, be reason to be afraid of the fate of Buddhism, of Buddhism is because is once because the teaching once of the Buddha has disappeared, the world is in trouble. Is in trouble. We get warfare, warfare, we get disease, we get disease. Most, of us most of us will die. It's catastrophic. It's catastrophic. And this seemed and to be confirmed, to be confirmed not, not only by the, by the warfare, warfare by, the British, by the British, but also by the also new by diseases the new brought in, in as they transported large numbers of people to do right reduction and to basically feed the colonial machine. Machine. This picture that this you can see in front of you is one of my favourite pictures. pictures. It's, it's, it's painted it's in the 1950s, in the 1950s. So, at a later so at a later point, when we know, that, we the know, know that the British Empire, Empire is dead, is dead, dead is and, and how did it die? How did well, it die well. You can see on, you can see on, on your, your left, left, there's a Buddha image. A Buddha it's, Buddha been image. it's been taken from, from a temple in, in Burma, Burma all the way to Bombay. Way to Bombay. And, and it is it the is Smiths are trying to smelt it, it down for a bullion, and they and start they vomiting start blood. Vomiting blood. Mm-hmm. And what happens and then what is happens Queen, Queen Victoria, Victoria, with her lovely blonde her lovely hair, hair. Is on one of her many visits to Bombay as Empress of India. Not none of those feature, of course, in Wilson's recent biography. But 
but they are recorded, they are in, this recorded painting, in this painting, so we know that they happened, they and happened. she's been and suffering she's been from terrible headaches. From terrible headaches. And the and terrible the headaches terrible cannot headaches be cured, cannot by, any be cured by any doctor. Fortunately, she has, Fortunately a dream, she has a dream, and the body and image the body appears, image to, her appears to her in the dream and, the dream and, says, and says, if you don't send me back where I came from, your, your, your empire, your empire will, disappear. will disappear. So she, so she speaks to speaks her subjects and she says, you've got to send that Buddha image back. And that Buddha image is now back in my own money temple in Burma, and it means the Buddha image that returned to his native land. Okay, so that, okay, so that these, pictures these pictures for me, the reason I've shown the them is they encapsulate two, two things. things. The fear of the destruction, the destruction under the, of Buddhism under, under the British, under the British. And, then and then the hope, the hope of, of the renewal of Buddhism, Buddhism in, the in the 1950s after independence. independence. So I want to now just, we now just we know that know the traditional, that traditional meditation, meditation that we saw in Cambodia, Cambodia and Laos, has gone underground, has gone underground, underground but we have the rise of another rise form of meditation. meditation. There were attempts, there were attempts in, the in the 19th century to revive, to revive and protect and Buddhist teaching, teaching, including to including make to fast, to tracks, fast to tracks to Nirvana, to Nirvana now, now, before the before teaching the disappears. Teaching disappears. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting, and what's interesting about, about the meditation that's meditation developed, that's developed, developed in, in Burma at this time, Burma at this time is whereas the meditation, the, the meditation, traditional meditations have lots of physical, lots of physical um, um, applications, applications, including in warfare, including, warfare, including, warfare, including, including in medicine. 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 The, the emphasis, emphasis in this type of meditation, type of meditation is, on is on meditation as a meditation mind as science. A mind it science. uses the body, uses the body but it doesn't focus on physical outcomes. So the somatic, so the somatic practices, practices are marginalised, and in fact, marginalized. at the, and same, fact, time at the same, same time in the margins of Burma society, society, you see some of the practices, some of the practices that, you that you see connected with, connected meditation, with meditation, just appearing, just appearing separately with their separately own meditation, their own meditation, but they're, they're, they're marginalised. Somatic marginalized. practices are marginalised. And it may be, that, it may this be that this way of developing, way of developing meditation, at meditation at this time meant it was, meant it was above the colonial above dominance, the colonial dominance of, the of the physical realm. Physical realm. And, it and it circumvented this the Cartesian, Cartesian dichotomy, dichotomy that underlay the time, time, frame, time frame of the, time frame of the psyche of and, the and the physical realm. realm. And what you have and then you is have that the traditionalists who are trying to preserve Buddhism are also modernising it. Moreover, Moreover they're without, without the king, without the king to, sponsor to sponsor Buddhism, Buddhism. they're saying it's they're every, saying individual's, every individual's duty, duty to, to sponsor and sponsor practice, and Buddhism. practice Buddhism. So each person, so each has, person a duty has a duty to study to Abhidhamma, study to, Abhidhamma practice to practice meditation. And meditation, and now, meditation becomes now becomes a widespread, a widespread practice, practice yes. accessible, accessible to all. To all. Uh, this is just an and example I wanted to give you of, you at that, that time, in the 19th century, century what the common attitudes, common attitudes towards, towards meditation. This is Reginald <coughs> Copston, who was Copston, Bishop of Colombo and then Calcutta. And, Calcutta. and, and he, he is actually an expert actually on Theravada Buddhism, and he wrote a best-selling book about it. But when it came to meditation, he wrote, there are, it is true, many passages, especially among those that deal with meditation, which entirely leave behind all that is human, natural, Natural, probable, 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 all that is genial, that is or, genial attractive, or attractive, and sail away and into sail a region away of into empty, region abstraction, empty abstraction, which it would be which flattery would be to flattery call a cloudland. Cloud cloud For Coppleston, Coppleston meditation, meditation is a later development, even, development, even though it's there in all the early texts, text, 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 and it and leads to unmeaning and indeed impossible states of abstraction. So, so. Meditation, in a sense, was safe, sense was safe because, because Europeans, weren't, Europeans weren't, interested weren't interested in it. In Those, it. Europeans, Those Europeans who were, they worked, who were on texts. they worked on texts. There were some who did there go and practice, but they tended to they disappear into the system into rather the system than come, rather than come, come out, back out of it. And one of the issues, of course, was that to learn meditation, you would have to go and become the student of an Asian practitioner of meditation, going against the colonial expectation of the direction of progress. But that, but that changed 
Um, this is just um, to is just, just to a bit on the term mindfulness, which is how the is often, often translated in the West. In the West. Um, it started, um, it started as, a term as a term in Christianity, in mindful of God. But in 1882, so around this time, it becomes used to translate the term for pious by the sati, mindful awareness, particularly of internal meditation through observation of the changes in the body and mental state. But you can see from this graph how prevalent this term, which starts off as not being a very common term, comes and looks at it becoming so popular from the 1960s onwards. So what's happened is that there are great celebrations of independence in the 1950s and the 2500 anniversary of the Buddha's death. And there's this renewed there's hope this renewed that there's going to be this to be reinvigoration, reinvigoration of Buddhism, of Buddhism new, new possibilities to become possibilities enlightened, to become enlightened. And, different and different Asian countries, a Asian come, countries together come together through Buddhism, through they, Buddhism revive they, they revive the text, text. and Burmese and meditation Burmese spread through, through different spread Asian through countries. Different Asian countries. So that's in the 1950s. So in the 1950s. It, spreads it spreads much more widely than it, so widely it has spread than earlier. It spread earlier. These, these, these countries weren't these isolated countries from each other, but in the 1950s, in the 1950s there's, there's this renewed vigor. And of course, then in the, then 1960s, in the 1960s, 1960s, 1970s, 1970s, attitudes in the West change. The West change. We have the countercultural revolution. We have people interested in going to learn the meaning of life and the new knowledge from the East. And so practitioners go over, they study with Asian people. Practitioners. They, study with people they study with people who escaped, people who escaped from escaped Europe during the war during the to war, survive, in, to survive in, Asia. in Asia. Um, um and so, and so they start they start bringing back bringing meditation, back techniques, meditation techniques, but also, but also they, don't they don't necessarily have this understanding, have this understanding that our goal in our goal in is to escape is from to samsara. Escape from samsara. Yeah. They think meditation they think can be useful in itself in to help. Itself Improve, improve, the individual, the individual in, this in this life. And so you see, a, so transformation you see a transformation taking place. Taking place. The, graph here, the graph here, if you look at, the, you look at the red line red at line the bottom, this, the is, bottom. Publications, this is publications, uh, Psych Info publications, uh, Psych -info publications that, mention that mention the bottom line, they mention, line, they mention Buddhism, and, Buddhism mindfulness. and mindfulness. The green line, the, the middle line, line, the middle represents, line represents um, represents um, mindfulness, represents um, mindfulness and, um, and meditation. meditation. But the blue but line, the, blue the exponential, line, increase, exponential increase, represents, represents mindfulness, represents alone. mindfulness alone. alone. So it's getting divorced, so it's not, getting only divorced not, Buddhist not, Buddhist not only from its Buddhist context, it's getting divorced, it's getting divorced, from, divorced from meditation, from context, context, meditation even, context, and mindfulness, and mindfulness, is, mindfulness is, getting is getting taught more, taught more, more widely. More widely. Including this is recent, um, recent um, discussions, debates, discussions in debates in the media about whether about the, the new applications, the new applications of, mindfulness of mindfulness are an abuse of the Buddha. Of the Buddha. How, the how the U.S. Army and Google, Google co-opt mindfulness, co -opt so being mindfulness used to improve, used to improve to management, to improve management, to improve ability to improve fight. Ability to fight. Fight. As you know, as you know, in fact, traditional, in fact, meditation, traditional meditation also had applications, also had applications beyond ethical beyond transformation. Ethical transformation. Okay. Um, what, um, does what does it mean? What's the impact of the, the loss of, of, of the traditional of meditation? The traditional meditation of meditation, of meditation in the Buddhist context. Buddhist context. Um, um, and particularly these and particularly physical, these, physical, these, um, these uh, somatic, practices. somatic practices. What you, practices. you can see there is what happens now to, to, to manuscripts. To manuscripts. To manuscripts. Left, you've got one of the manuscripts from traditional meditation tradition, 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 tradition showing you the placing you the of the effects of meditation, the experience of meditation, internalized into the body. On your right, you have amulets that are made from pulverized manuscripts. So you turn the thing on the left into the left into the right. Now this has always now, been a traditional been practice, a practice because, because the power in the, power in the meditation in manual, the manual, power of the Buddha's teaching, can be used for physical benefit as, well, as well, to protect you. But traditionally, but traditionally the, manuscripts the manuscripts would be manuscripts copied would be before they were pulverized. Whereas now they're Whereas not. Now they're not. So we have been so recently, have trying, been recently to trying to save certain save manuscripts certain from being pulverized in a temple that's very popular for its protective amulets. So we have the loss, so have of, the loss a knowledge of a knowledge system. system. For those practitioners, For those practitioners who, who um, still practice uh, still forms practice of this tradition, forms either very traditional either forms, very forms or modernized or forms, modernized forms, it means that it their means practices, practices are questioned as unorthodox. unorthodox. In fact, if they're fact, orthodox, they're they just orthodox, use they a practice, just practices, practices of, internalization of internalization that are no longer recognized. recognized. 
But more broadly, I wonder I what, wonder it, means what it means for us, for a, global us community. a global community. So if we think so if we of think the exponential, of exponential rise in the rise applications, in the applications of, mindfulness of mindfulness to all sorts, to of, all areas. sorts of areas, this is just based, is on, just the based on the Burmese derived tradition, derived tradition alone. alone. And the reason, and it's, the exponential reason it's exponential is because, is because these practices these work, practices they, have work. Effects. they have effects, and these effects and can these be effects documented, can be they can be repeated. Can be repeated. So mindfulness so can be applied can be outside, outside of the Buddhist, of the Buddhist um, religious, um, context. religious context. What then <laughs> of the what other meditation other traditions, traditions that haven't that been haven't taught been and haven't been studied in this way? Are we missing applications of this sort from there also? Also. So then I so then I finished by finished saying by that, that we we have shown you how one meditation, how one tradition, meditation tradition went underground, underground in the colonial, in the colonial and modern, modern, period. And modern period. period. One tradition, one tradition that, that was supposed to lead to nirvana. But in the meantime, in the meantime, from another direction, from another direction we have a new, form, have of a new form of meditation. It's based on, it's the, based tradition. on the tradition. You can, tradition. Recognize, you can it recognize it in early, early texts, text, but it discards text, aspects, aspects of the tradition. Also intended, also as, a intended as a way to lead to enlightenment, but now, but now with much broader, with much broader applications. applications. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Paul Joyce. Is Paul I'm the Joyce. head of the Department of Theology Department and Religious Theology Studies, here, religious at studies here at King's. And it is a great pleasure it is a great to have the privilege, to have the privilege of being able to give the vote, of thanks, give the vote of thanks for Professor Kate for Crosby's Professor Kate inaugural, lecture. inaugural lecture. The main title, the main alone, title alone, Nirvana, and, Nirvana the new technologies, and the New Technologies, is quite a triumph. It's, quite a triumph. it's the kind of thing it's that publishers thing that really love, isn't it? Really love. You know, think of the number of online hits for each of those words. But in fact, way beyond that, fact, way beyond we've, that been given a, we've been given a fascinating, a fascinating and wide-ranging lecture, wide -ranging lecture, historical, cultural, cultural ideological, ideological, scientific, scientific. So, much there, so much there, and the stunning, and the visuals. stunning visuals. In fact, a few days ago, fact, Kate days said ago, to me rather Kate modestly, to me rather modestly oh, it's mainly pictures. Oh, it's mainly pictures. Uh, but in fact, we've uh, had so fact, much had more so in addition to the wonderful visuals. Wonderful visuals. Uh, you've, given uh, you've given us a rich and inspiring, and inspiring presentation. presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Kate and I, in fact, I arrived, here, arrived at Kings, here at King's uh, at much the uh, same much time, the same around, time about two years around about two years ago. Uh, and, uh, uh, but and, uh, long before then, long when before I was then, uh, in I was, Oxford, uh, in Oxford I'd, long been aware I'd long been aware of Kate's of prodigious, Kate's reputation, prodigious for reputation for her command of Asian command languages. Of Asian languages. And also, and of also her of really her quite phenomenal, really quite phenomenal international, international range, range of contacts, of and, contacts friendships and friendships in Buddhist studies, in Buddhist studies and, in, and the Buddhist world. in the Buddhist world. And we welcome, and we welcome tonight with great tonight, pleasure, with great uh, pleasure, uh, many guests who many reflect guests that who broad reflect range that of contacts, range of contacts and, friendships, and friendships, including the venerable, including the venerable Vera of Dhammakaya. Vera of Dhammakaya. But the Commonplace, commonplace academic, academic jargon, jargon of network, of networking, networking, networking uh, really doesn't begin uh, really to do justice to, to what justice uh, Kate what Crosby, uh, represents. Kate Crosby represents. Because I know because that, I know the, that estimate the estimate of, Kate of Kate as a person as a person is integral, is to, all integral of this. to all of this. The Esteem, esteem and respect and with respect which Kate is held Kate is internationally, held internationally as a person, as a person, person of integrity, of integrity and, of wisdom. and of wisdom. Now Kate's many, now Kate's many relationships, in the, relationships world of Buddhism in the world of Buddhism also provide, also provide for me as the head of a, me, a department, a head, a department uh, something, uh, of a model, something of a model which I would like us to try and emulate. Uh, within the Department of Theology, the Department and Religious Studies, Theology and Religious Studies here at King's. Here at King's. Because Kate's work because Kate's combines, work combines rigorous, rigorous and critical, and critical linguistic, linguistic, literary, literary and historical, and scholarship, historical scholarship with, with a, real engagement a real engagement with Buddhism, with Buddhism as a lived, as a and, lived lively tradition. and lively tradition. 
And I very and much I hope very that much theology hope and religious that studies, here, religious at King's studies here at King's can more generally, can more generally emulate, that emulate that in relation to, in relation to a wide range of religious wide traditions, range of religious traditions. Jewish, Jewish, Christian, Christian Muslim, Muslim, and Muslim, other. And other. Now, please do now, join please us downstairs, do join downstairs to celebrate tonight's, to celebrate special, tonight's occasion. special occasion. But once again, but once again Kate, Kate, Professor, Crosby, Professor Crosby, thank you so much, thank you for, so much a for a most stimulating and inspiring, and inspiring inaugural lecture. Inaugural thank lecture. you.